Hey everybody, doing Mike Iconelli here. Uh, caught a little bit of a break to come out and do a little winter fishing uh, on a little lake here in South Jersey. Uh, thought I'd come out here and uh, go over a few tricks with you on what I do here in the winter time. Uh, we're out here, the water temperature is about 40 degrees and uh ice just came off the lake d jones what's up ice just came off the lake a few days ago uh but we've got little warm warm conditions today it's overcast it's almost foggy out uh so we're gonna we're gonna walk you through today some of the uh little tricks and stuff that i do for winter fishing eric hello how you doing Born to fish. What's up, man? Uh, real quick before we get into this, fishing traveler. Wow, wow. I want to show you a little cool little mount I'm using. This is a ram mount. It's called the X Grip. And this is what I'll be using to hold the phone to film at, uh, film with today. It's really cool if you look at it. It's just a um, little grip and it's got that deal. You could put your phone on it. Um, I also use a ram mount for my action cams um, to hold my action cams as well. It's a it's a great little mount. Um, the nice thing about it is I can interchange all the parts. Right now I'm putting a long long arm on this to give you guys a better view. Uh, but I'm going to mount this on the boat and go through some of the stuff that I'm going to be doing here today. By the way, let me let me mention everybody. I hope everyone had a very Merry Christmas, uh, good holiday. Uh, hope you got to uh, spend some time with the family. Hope you got to do a little bit of fishing, which is, is always nice. Um, and we're gonna go through some of this stuff for you here today. Okay, so let's see. Uh, I'm gonna put this phone up here. Roger, happy holidays, man. Okay, all right, so we're out here on the boat. Try to get a good little view for you here. Let me get you all fixed up. Um, I'm using, I'm going to be using spinning equipment. Going to be using, this is Abu Garcia. This is a 610 medium light. I'm also going to be using a 64 medium light. Uh, what's up? Wow, Bill's pop. What's up? Um, we're using the Abu Garcia Ike 20. And I'm using braid to a fluoro leader. I'm using... Um, uh, 10 pound Berkeley X5 to a eight pound Berkeley fluorocarbon 100% liter. Uh, gonna be fishing with two different style baits today. Gonna be fishing with a finesse swim bait and I'm gonna be using that right there. So this is the first little trick I wanna talk to you about. This is a Rapala shad wrap, uh, but this is a shallow shad wrap, top, top notch fishing. Man, I know, I get stuck at work a lot too. Um, this is a shallow shad wrap. Can, Mike wants to know, can I say in the shop for me? In the shop! There you go. Uh, this is a number five shallow shad wrap, but look at the bill on it. Very shallow, very small little scoop bill. Um, and I'm, I'm gonna modify this bait a little bit. I'm gonna modify it. I'm gonna put oversized hooks on it, okay? It comes with number sixes taking those off and I'm adding two number four short shank trebles heavier hooks the other thing I'm going to do is add a little split ring and by doing that this shad wrap is going to suspend okay so let's let's get up here and fish a little let's see what what you guys can see here try to get you set up to see my headquarters here and we'll see if we can catch them I really want you to pay attention to the cadence because I'm going to use a very slow cadence in the winter. Okay, so let's see. We can get a catch a few here for you. Really look at the cadence, you know, using small little twitches. You see those little twitches? Nothing big, nothing exaggerated. I'm, I'm getting it down there, little twitches, and I'm pausing it a lot. If you notice, I'm, I'm twitching, twitching and then I pause it. Twitching, 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 pause it. And the neat thing about this number five shad wrap with these big hooks and this uh, 
oversized split ring on the nose is that this bait will suspend. It will suspend just like a suspending jerk bait. But it's so much more subtle because this bait's balsa. Rapala, Rapala baits are balsa. Uh, it's balsa wood. And, and so there's, there's no rattle. There's no noise, you know? There's none of that. And if you notice, look at this. I'm just twitching it real slow. Real short twitches. Just little twitches. And, you know, we're going we're gonna to hopefully get a few bites, and there'll be mixed species out here, too. It'll be, uh, there'll be bass. There'll be some pickerel. Uh, there'll be some yellow perch. And maybe even some bluegill and crappie. Um, and we're, we're basically, give you an idea of where we're fishing. It's hard to tell because it's, it's very foggy out here, but we're fishing uh, just a little pond in South Jersey and I'm targeting the deep water, but I'm fishing off the break a little bit. I'm fishing, um, instead of fishing in the, in the bowl, I'm fishing on the edges a little bit, on the sides of that deep water. A lot of times, um, a lot of times in the winter, you'll have a warm, a couple warm days and the fish will come out of that deep water and they'll, they'll slide up. Uh, what's the weather? The, the weather today, it's actually nice. It's uh, almost 50 degrees today, but last week it was real cold. And because of that, the water temperature is like 40 degrees, 40, 41 degrees. So very cold water temperature. Um, and because of that, you know, we're going to fish slower. You know, we're not, we're not going to fish any big lures. We're not going to power fish. We're going to, we're going to finesse fish. I want you to watch, watch that rod tip. Watch them little, little twitches. Big pauses. It's okay. Got one. Got one. Got one. I don't know what that bass or is that a That's a big perch. That's a big perch. On that shad wrap. Oh wait, not hooked that good. Shoot. We got him anyway. Go. Got old yeller. Look at that thing. Uh there's a look at that bait. That's that shallow shad wrap. And even though this isn't a bass, tells you a lot about this bait and, and, the, and the movement. Um, you know, again, look at that. Number five, shallow shad wrap, oversized hooks, oversized line tie, and this bait's gonna suspend. Water temperature's 40 degrees. Uh, that's a fat one. It's not very long, but that's a nice yellow perch. Man, if, if I was eating them, this is one to eat for sure. But look, look at the colors. I wanna show you why orange is so important orange is a great color to imitate crawfish obviously but look at the bright orange in that fin that bright orange in that bait look at that very similar you know you hear me talk all the time about match to hatch look at that if that's not a good example of match to hatch i don't know what is so yes it does uh kevin this has extremely tight wobble very tight you make little twitches it doesn't move too much you know, I know, I want to eat it, right? Hold on, let's do it like... Um, we'll actually let this one go. Uh, we'll see if we can catch another one or a bass here. But that's a good sign. Um, 
if you noticed, I want you to watch. If you notice, that fish bit on the pause. Let's see if the next one comes on the pause. Little twitches, long pauses. I'm not moving the rod much. Watch my rod, I'm not moving it much. Keeping the rod, little little twitches. Almost like, almost pretend you're like, just scrubbing, you're scrubbing the rod, you know, like, tick, tick, tick. that's all you want that bait doing. And it's not moving much, you know? one bite. I had, a, I had a bite. He missed it. Something slapped it right there. He didn't get it. Very foggy out here today. Let's see if we can get you a big bass. You know, this time of year when the water is this cold, um, it, it gets tough, you know, but you can catch some really big bass. The, the fish still have to eat, you know? Um, but watch, watch, I'm not, I'm not moving much. Them little twitches, big pauses, big pauses, little twitches, big pauses. The colder the water, the longer the pause. And, and those twitches, you know, everybody thinks with, with jerk baits and this kind of lure, you need big, big rips. No, little, little twitches, little. picking up here getting a little bit out into the main lake I was at a mouth of a cove um, you know the depth I'm fishing uh, two pound flora I know not not quite this is actually eight pound but uh, fishing around the deep water I'm not fishing in the deep water you know deep water in this lake is about eight feet and I'm fishing in about four feet but I'm near it I'm near it. The deep water is just out here from me, not too far. Uh-oh. Might have had might have had a bite there. Let me see. Or no, no, no. Let me look. That might have been the bottom. Okay, so look at that. I'm in four feet of water, and I'm still getting the bait to get down about four feet. I'm hitting the bottom, obviously. So you look at that bill, you don't think it goes too deep. But that bait's getting about four or five feet deep. So um, you know, this bait isn't near the surface but it's, it's very subtle, you know? Bottom. 
bottom again. Oh, I don't know. If that was a bite, I don't know. Felt weird. Felt weird. Might be getting too far out, I don't know. I'm gonna try a little bit more and I'm gonna turn back around where I had that perch bite. Stuck it in a tree there. <laughs> that scared me. I should have been one there, huh? Couple more casts, I'm gonna turn back that way. Pretty windy out here. All right, I think we got to go back. I think we got a little too deep. Uh, we were in about four feet of water. Now we're at about five, six feet of water. Doesn't feel right. One more cast, one more cast, and we're gonna go back the other way there. And uh, I'll show you the second bait, second winter time bait I'm gonna throw. This is a good one though, shad wrap's a good one.
I'm back in that three, four feet of water now. Got a little shallower again. Water's, water's real clear too. A lot of times after ice out, that water gets gin, gin clear. Oh God, oh God. Oh. Wow, big bite, big bite. As soon as I got back in that shallower water, you see that? Like literally, like as soon as I got back in that, you know, three to four feet, instantly got a bite. That was a big bite too. Man, that was tough. But it's, it's good to pay attention to the fish, you know? You wouldn't think a, a two, two foot of water would make a big difference, but you know, it can, you know, it's even in the winter, you want to pattern fish. You want to pay attention to the pattern and depths and color and all that. And that, that was a, that was a nice bite. Oh man, let's get another one. Hard to get a bite. Uh, let's see. A couple more casts. Might change base. I don't know. another perch now this is the second perch I've had that's been hooked on that back hook and I don't I don't love that um, 
you know, if this was a tournament situation and I'm catching bass and it's my second bass I caught, and I remember I missed one too. So back hook, a miss, back hook. When I see that, my first thought is to change the color. And I would switch to like a shad colored bait, something white, pearl. That would be my next switch. And then I'd see if there's if they're hooked better. You know, so when they're all hooked on that back hook like that, um, I start thinking about changing color. Uh, Gage asked, he must have just tuned in. Gage, this is a Rapala shad, uh, shad wrap, size five, and it's a shallow shad wrap. I put oversized hooks on it and oversized split ring. That fish was a little shallower. That fish was in about three feet of water. A little shallower. The other thing I'm doing too, if you get in shallow water, you can hold your rod tip high. Instead of making twitches low, hold your rod tip high and you can control this bait a little bit. This bait get dives about four feet, but uh, right there you can see I've hit the bottom. Uh, but if I hold my rod tip up, I can get uh, more depth control out of it. Got some rain coming.
Oh god! Miss. Not the right color. If I wasn't so lazy, I'd switch right now. <laughs> Definitely not the right color today. You know, my next move would be a shad or a white pearl colored bait. Then my next move after that, oh God, I had another bite and missed it. Oh, that's a good one. I really need to switch. Let me see if I can find another one. I really need to switch colors. I mean, it's... Let's see if I can get to another one real quick for you and uh, see if we can prove our theory. Uh, there you go. Okay, so here's some other color options that I'm gonna give you. I like the crawl dad, but obviously they're not biting it very good. So these are my next two color changes right here. Um, I'm gonna try a, a shad, a pearl colored one. And then we've got another one in this really cool olive green color. And I'm gonna keep switching colors till, till I figure out which one they like. That one, uh, Uh, is, is it Ike special Ike color? Yes, um, that green one is. This is called Mardi Gras. It's an Ike's custom ink color. Um, that one's an orange crawl dad, standard color. And that one's a shad. That's a standard color as well. The thing I like about the Ike's custom ink colors is that the... Um, Uh-oh. It wasn't a great knot, was it? I'm gonna retie that. Um, the Ike's custom ink colors are faded. I like, especially in the winter time, in the winter when the fishing's tough, uh, faded, a uh, muted bait is really good. Those bright baits, when they're biting and the water's dirty, the bright baits are good, but when it's cold, it's winter, the water's clear, you don't want a bright bait. You want something that's more muted, you know? Now let's... Uh, favorite kind of knot. Uh, Im improved clinch knot clinch i like that on we went to a shad let's see what happens great crappie rods out of there
tough, tough bite. Switch colors and still not getting any bites. Uh, the next move would be to switch bait styles. You know, I went from orange to shad. Doesn't seem like it's doing anything. You know, the next move would be to put a uh, finesse swim bait on or different style bait, but uh, it's a tough fight today. Even with the conditions, conditions look good, but they're not eating, clearly. All right. I'm going to say goodbye to that bait. I'm going to try one more thing here. If I can find it. And this is, this is my number two favorite wintertime bait. A finesse swim bait. This is a Berkeley Power Bait Power Swimmer. But look at the size. 2.8. 2.8. I've got a really cool perch color here. Uh... This one is called, let's see what this color is called. Sun gill. A lot of, uh, looks like maybe like a little blue gill. And um, a lot of different heads you can fish on it. I'm going to just fish this on a, just a regular ball head. This is a VMC ball head. Just got a little weed guard on it. Uh, I just thread that thing on there. This is an eighth ounce head. Basically the rod and reel is just about the same. It's a 610 medium light Abu Garcia. Uh, give this a try for a couple casts, just to see.
Alright, well. There you have it, folks. I hope you had uh, fun watching two of my favorite wintertime baits. We didn't do very good. We caught a couple perch, but shallow shad wrap, finesse swim bait. Uh, two great baits when it gets cold. You can catch bass, crappie, perch, bluegill, pickerel, everything that swims. Um, I'm going to keep bringing these uh, YouTube lives to you. If you are watching or if you watched and uh, you're not already subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. Hit that subscribe button right there. We got a lot of great content coming at you. Uh, go and Ike's, Go and Ike Rawls in the shops, live fishing like this. Uh, it's going to be awesome. Hope everybody has a happy holiday. Hope you have a great new year and uh, we'll have another one up real soon. Have a great one. Bye.